going on, everyone? My car didn't start yet. My, that's Tiffany's fault, too. She's a stupid whore. Um, but it's going to be like 60 degrees in a couple of days. So um, hopefully it just turns on and it's a battery issue. And I think maybe even the battery... I keep saying that. Until I... Did that? <sighs> yep, low battery voltage. Hopefully, it's just the battery. Anyways, look. I remember when I went to that thingy that Tiffany was annoying me about in New York. Which would have been the perfect time to stack more crypto because the month after that it started to move up. You stupid fucking oh, you stupid fucking whore, fucking rap whore. Hey, what's up, lady from the bank? Uh, who was at that event? Apparently, one of the ladies at the bank I go to was at that event, and she like, I don't mind. It took like an hour to do my ten minute transaction, but I actually was like playing along because she wanted to spill tea and all this bullshit, and she started like talking. And she was one of those girls, she's one of those girls who knows, like, all those, like, you know, like, she's, like, all she does all day is, like, go into all those conspiracy shits about, like, entertainment, though. So when I started talking about, like, Rick Ross is a pedo and all that bullshit, she pulled up uh, Tiffany's Run For Your Life video and started showing me how, like, the satanic symbolism in there about how, like, they control her with debt and all that bullshit. So why did you have to steal from my from my niece? Why couldn't you just say any of that bullshit? It's so retarded. Anyways, so she got mad at me because in the beginning, and then we started talking for like an hour, because she was like, again, everyone thinks this is staged. It's staged in this in the sense that like I'll get mad about something and so we'll, we'll make a song about it. I'll get mad and yell at Tiffany and she'll be like, oh, we're just promoting Su Young's thingy, wife fighting. I'm not staging shit. I'm not playing. I'm not acting. This is, she literally stole money from me and my niece. She literally thought it would be a good idea to get pimped out to Rick Ross. She literally is a rap whore. I literally do not want her in my life because of all that. If she would have just not been a rap whore, everything could have been fine. She, and now I remember, she was like, I'm going to a meeting. I'm in a meeting. Because I was having meetings. She was, trying to, she was trying to seem like she's important. More important than she really is. Because no one gives a fuck about this meeting bullshit. So were you going to meetings with Sublime to work out being a rap whore? And then you stole money to be a rap whore? Why the fuck would I want you in my life? That's why I'm mad at her. It's been six months. Or more. I don't give a shit. You're a rap whore. You stole to be a rap whore. You thought it'd be a good idea to be a rap whore. And the Witch's Coven is like, when they're obsessed, they do this because they think they're hot. She's a rap whore. It doesn't matter how hot she is. She, she's not as hot as she was six years ago. She's not as hot as she was two years ago. She's a rap whore. She is a rap whore. No matter what happens, she she had everything she said she wanted, and then she was like, well, I can't do, something. I can't do anything until I become a rap whore. If I don't get pimped out to a bunch of rap losers, no one will think I'm a producer. No, who gives a shit? Produce what? A song no one knows about. And guess what? The other thing she was telling me. Everyone knows Taylor Swift is some kind of a witch. So they have some kind of a witch thing going on at the NFL because to, during COVID, everyone stopped watching the NFL because they were selling out to China. So they were probably going to get Tiffany doing basketball bullshit to try to get people involved in the NBA because they were selling out to China. I don't give a shit. That is some hoary ass bullshit. I do not want that in my life. You are a whore. Forever one, you sit in my DMs, you said you wanted to get married, then you stole money and went to be a whore. I'll explain later. I don't want you to. I want you to go be a rap whore.
because you're a rap whore. You're always going to be a rap whore. And if you became a rap whore and you didn't put anything out over it, that's not my fault. That's your fault because you're a rap whore. Fucking thief.